In this drawing, we can draw the weld nugget simply by selecting this symbol. For fillet weld, side view, choose this one and select one of these and click at the join. And then we can choose which side we want the nugget of the weld to be. Okay. After that, we want to put the symbol of the welding. Choose this one. Select this. Left click, right click. A dialog box for the weld symbol will appear like this. From here, first thing, we can choose the weld type. So in this case, we will choose fillet weld type. So there is five box here. The first one is penetration depth. So the first application, we will ignore this one and fill this one, specify the size of the weld. In our problem, the size of our weld is Z5. So we simply type Z5. And then what is given? 250 as the weld length. So this is the number of weld. This is the length of the weld. And this is the distance between weld. So we can put it here. 250. This is the contour which we will not use in this case. And in this case, there is no extra information to be put into the tail of the welding symbol. Next, we can just simply press OK. Now we have our symbol, something like this. Okay, because uh, the, num the number of welding should be mentioned. Here is the number of welding. But in this case, there is no number of welding. How we can eliminate the X symbol here? Because there is only one weld, so we can just put it here. But in a normal case, we shouldn't do this. So, okay, we got something like this. And remember the broken reference line here which means that the weld is on this side. Click again and then select the bottom one. Okay, now we got something like this. For the next one, this is similar to this one. So we can just change A5. Something like this, we can change to A5, just change A5 here, okay, and then we got something like the one on the right side. For this side, it simply means the penetration depth. So we can click and add in the front, the penetration depth is S6. So S6A5 250. Okay, thank you.